Hello viewers, I welcome you all from a charity of tech channel and today we are going to start our regular classes of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Before that, uh, HLT of dot tech channel is uh, giving you uh, has already uploaded uh, many videos. I think uh, it's about 70 to 71 videos of SharePoint, Microsoft SharePoint 2019 and also Microsoft SharePoint Server Subscription Edition that is 2022. We have already uploaded uh, the understanding videos for beginners and intermediate level. And thanks to all the subscribers who are continuously watching my videos. And uh, I'm very thankful that all of my subscribers are also uh, appreciating these type of videos that give me uh, uh, much satisfaction that we are going on a right track in guiding in guiding uh, the IT professionals and IT beginners uh, regarding the Microsoft related technologies. So <clears throat> continuing my videos of uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, we are going to start our class one that is uh, that has only four topics and it will be about 15 to 20 minutes topics and we will uh, subsequently lead towards the demonstration part as well. So first of all it's very important to know that what is Dynamics 365 uh, and uh, what is the platform on which Dynamics 365 is uh, hosted and uh, if we talk about the on-premise platform in environment because there are many organizations that are working uh, on without the interface deployment and they have their isolated domains with their own active directory and domain uh, they have their own custom domain and they want to uh, install your the dynamic crm in as a on-prem server farm so for that purpose you must have an idea that how dynamic crm uh, 9.0 is uh, configured on on-premise platform i have already make a video complete video <coughs> on the installation of dynamic crm 9.0 in an on-premise environment so uh, last of all we will talk about the terminologies because it is very important for all the beginners and all the intermediate level crm professionals uh, who are continuing uh, their enhancing their skills in this domain they must uh, understand about the terminologies that are commonly used in microsoft crm because in upcoming classes we are going to go at the advanced level so it will be very important that these terminologies must be uh, clearly uh, known to you and you must be quite familiar with these terminologies so uh, let's start with our class one okay what is dynamic crm Dynamic CRM is an enterprise level application or you can say it as it is an enterprise level solution that helps you to establish and manage customer relationship within your organization. So <clears throat> it is very important thing that uh, Microsoft recently in uh, before few years has launched uh, Dynamic CRM uh, and it is an ERP solution. Uh, within uh, very less years you can see that uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM is progressing and it is uh, expanding many uh, well uh, known organizations have already adopted these CRM ERPs of Microsoft and it is very demandable right now uh, worldwide so it is a very uh, good solution that establishes uh, and maintains uh, your relationship with your customer resulting uh, to enhance your uh, cooperation and your services and your commitments with your uh, customers okay so the next thing is that what is the platform uh, okay dynamic CRM is based on common data service it is uh, this uh, solution is built by Microsoft on common data services in modern concepts when Microsoft has introduced power platform uh, then these services on which the power platform are built uh, Microsoft has changed this name common data services to the dataverse we will talk about the power platforms in our next in our upcoming video soon so you must uh, know that 
dynamic CRM is built on common data services right now as a beginner. So next thing is that if we talk about uh, our uh, on-premise environment, then you uh, you know that you have on, uh, your own domain and you have your own Active Directory in your on-premise environment. Uh, then you must have a dynamic database uh, that is based on Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, we have uh, in our previous videos we have also launched our dynamic CRM as uh, uh, on a database server that was a SQL Server 2019 Enterprise version. And we uh, also configured the reporting services. So these uh, two types of uh, uh, database and reporting services mandatory for Microsoft SQL Server on-premise environment. And the application that is dynamic CRM is also important. So this uh, overall makes your dynamic CRM uh, environment in dynamic CRM application you can also uh, separate different types of role that is you can separate the application server you can separate the web front end server we will talk about this in detail okay so next thing is that uh, we will talk about the terminologies okay you should know that Microsoft Dynamics CRM doesn't save any type of data in itself. Same lies for Microsoft SharePoint application. It saves all of its data in the Dynamics uh, CRM database. That is its database server. So for that purpose, uh, we whenever you create a new registration record, because you know you must have various types of users and you assign them various roles, and you uh, group them as uh, teams we will talk all about them don't there's no need to worry this is our first class i assume that all of the users uh, viewers that are uh, viewing this video are beginners so i will keep it to the basic level right now so whenever we create a new user record at this stage you should know that it creates different types of uh, data uh, it updates that user registration record in MS CRM underscore config database object that is system user authentication it uh, also update uh, that record in system user organizations database and same for system user data user base okay these are three uh, databases in which whenever you create a new user registration all uh, its uh, record is uh, its, its affiliated records it uh, is saved in these databases okay next thing uh, the most common thing that is uh, there in dynamic crm is ribbon workbench ribbons workbench is a separate topic we will talk about it in uh, our uh, upcoming videos we are i'm going to i'm going to uh, uh, give you uh, a separate video on it but right now as a basic user uh, user or beginner you should know that ribbons are the controls that are displayed over an entity and they can be imported by setting solution import okay uh, this is crm uh, page and if we go on any entity let's say we go about uh, sales and leads we go in leads and uh, so you, here you can see that these are the controls these are the controls that are available on an, any entity uh, this is an entity of leads here you are seeing here i will talk about the uh, entity in my class number two so uh, on any entity these are the controls through which i can uh, perform any activity on this entity let you can also email a link uh, and you can also change anything so these are all our ribbon workbenches okay uh, the next thing is that how we can import the ribbon workbench it is very uh, easy uh, as a part of solution you can import the ribbon workbench that are available uh, as a package you can import them so we will uh, talk about this in separate class of ribbon workbenches 
the next thing is, is crm sdk so this is the uh, uh, crm sdk is a software development kit that contains all functions which are essential to work within crm it describes documentation of all features in crm as well the next thing is email router uh, an email router you know uh, for erp it is very important that uh, you must have a secure collaboration and mailing service as well so it is a software that is in, uh, that is already available in out of the box solution of crm and uh, email router is a software component of crm that creates an interface between your crm and email server for mail management feature in my upcoming videos we are going to configure an exchange server as well and we will connect it through the email router with the microsoft dynamics crm so you can configure any external mailing servers we will configure microsoft exchange server but if in your organization you have uh, any other micro uh, mailing server that is based on smt or pop3 you can configure it so it's not mandatory that you configure only the exchange server okay so if we go here and if we go into settings we go into email configuration so this portion is the part where you can configure a email router so all of these services uh, and uh, email router is configured here okay so next thing is discovery services microsoft crm it is used in a a uh, large organization where you have multiple CRM servers and uh, you want that uh, that are uh, you have multiple CRM servers that are placed geographically at different locations and you want that uh, some particular geographical location users must be connected to some particular server so for that purpose you use discovery services it is used to assist you in finding correct URL and organization of your CRM when in case your organization have multiple servers and business units. We will talk about the multiple servers and business un units in our upcoming classes of advanced level. The next thing is append and append to. This is very important thing that uh, normally in uh, you know uh, you can ask you can uh, be asked in your interview questions of CRM as well so that is uh, a property uh, that works in combination okay uh, you must be uh, familiar with the lookup column of uh, that we talk about in custom list of sharepoint as well that is similar to that one uh, in which you collect the, uh, you show the data or you connect uh, your one entity to an other entity okay what is append uh, for that purpose for connecting two entities to show the data of one entity into uh, another entity based on some particular condition uh, you must have these two privileges that is append to privilege that is to allow users or allow other ent sorry uh, you uh, append to privilege allow other entities to get attached to the entity using lookup column and append allows the entity to attach records to the entity with append to privilege okay so we will talk about them in detail uh, as well as we will cover the practical part in uh, our upcoming classes when we will talk about entities in details the next thing is manage properties that are the properties that are used to identify or customize managed solution parts mm -hmm. and uh, the next thing is metadata service in microsoft crm the metadata service hold information about attributes and entities for example data type of attribute size of attribute display name etc that all covers that are all uh, included in the metadata service so we will also uh, cover the practical part in our entity uh, in our class when we will talk about the entities in details so this was all about uh, some uh, terminologies that were required for the beginners there are also many other proper uh, terminologies for example managed solution unmanaged solution etc uh, that are mandatory for uh, beginners to understand but uh, i will cover them in my upcoming classes so uh, in our class 2 
we will talk about the CRM modules that what are the basic or actual modules of CRM on which it works or operates then we will talk about entities you know in our previous in our current class we have talked about many things that are related to entities so we will talk about the types of fields in custom entities and we will ta talk about the type of ownership for entities as well so guys continue enjoying my videos and also subscribe my channel who are the new viewers so uh, and uh, in our upcoming videos we are going to go from beginners to intermediate and to the advanced level of microsoft crm professionals i thank you